Hard work, faith in success, and diligence can work wonders. Visionaries like Thomas Edison, Nicholas Hessler, and Howard Hughes all dreamed of making the world a better place. Now, a young man known as Gatling Tommy might soon join their league. Gatling Tommy has poured his creativity into crafting a foam bullet-firing machine gun. This fierce weapon can shoot an impressive 50 darts per second, with a maximum ammo capacity of 430 darts. The strategy with this gun is simple. Stun the enemy with a hail of darts and take cover. However, Gatling Tommy admits there's a main hiccup. The long reloading time. Each bullet must be loaded into a cartridge case, formed into a ribbon, and stowed in a special box. It seems like a fundamental issue, so becoming the next Browning or Kalashnikov might prove challenging. The crossbow traces its origins back to the 4th to the 5th century BC, with many experts suggesting that the earliest versions were stationary. This weapon boasts a rather intricate history. It was expensive and not particularly convenient, yet it combined formidable power with ease of training. For instance, military crossbows from the 16th century could hit a target at a distance of 200 steps, and skilled crossbowmen could even strike a chicken egg from 100 steps away. As a result of its enduring appeal, crossbows have remained popular and have successfully made their way to modern times. A simple Google search for how to make a crossbow brings up thousands of results. One striking example is showcased by an individual who runs a channel dedicated to homemade weapons. It's a double-shot crossbow that can be attached to the arm. When a guy brings in a set of heavy-duty hydraulic cylinders and a powerful four-stroke engine into his garage, you know he's in for a big project. He's gearing up to build his own loader, and it's going to be a serious endeavor. First things first, he starts by welding together the frame and getting it on wheels connected by a chain drive. Then, he hooks up the gas engine and hydraulic motors to control the lifting gear. Keeping things simple, he sets up a basic cab with just a plastic chair and levers on both sides. Over the course of a year, this inventor puts his homemade loader through rigorous tests, clearing snow, digging soil, hauling scrap metal, and everything works flawlessly, except for a minor hiccup with a Chinese carburetor. It's clear that the DIY community has some serious talent, and this YouTuber has inspired many budding welders to take on similar projects. Who knows? Maybe the big companies, like Bobcat, should keep an eye on these innovative DIers, they might just be the next big competition in the market. Some individuals might find handling a hammer and putting up a picture a bit challenging, while others spend their nights constructing their own helicopters. Recently, a group of young craftsmen from Hong Kong unveiled an impressive project. Taking inspiration from the design of simple civilian drones, they set out to create a single-seat aircraft. The team meticulously calculated the size, weight, and power requirements for their creation. Using eight 3D printers, they fabricated the fuselage, which then required manual gluing and sanding of the parts. Next, they installed four electric motors and connected two propellers to each. Through rigorous testing, they discovered that the thrust generated was sufficient for a vertical takeoff with a slim pilot in the cockpit. Unfortunately, this aircraft won't be receiving any flying certificates. However, taking a spin with a friend on it beats a bicycle ride any day. This video has gained immense popularity, and for a good reason. After watching it, you'll learn how to create your very own hoverboard. This YouTuber from India generously provides viewers with a link to a list of all the necessary parts. To get started, you'll need plywood, a couple of 250-watt motors, a pair of 10-inch bicycle wheels, and two caster wheels akin to those found on supermarket carts. Additionally, you'll require a battery with a capacity of at least 7 amp-hours, similar to those used in uninterruptible power supplies. 
While the concept may seem simple, it's essential to note that in 2016, the U.S. had to recall over 500,000 hoverboards from various companies. It was discovered that the batteries in these models were prone to overheating, leading to at least 100 reported incidents of explosions and fires. With this DIY hoverboard, however, you have the advantage of choosing the components yourself, ensuring a safer and more customized build. The Belgian FNP-90 submachine gun may not be a top choice for the military, but it has gained popularity among gamers, thanks to Counter-Strike making its futuristic look iconic. While owning the real gun may not be legally possible for everyone, there's no reason you can't build your own replica using LEGO Technic. PDF instructions for this plastic version are available for download, and it even shoots rubber bands, firing about 20 rounds per go. Swapping out an empty magazine for a fresh one is a breeze, taking less than 10 seconds. Just a heads up though, using strong rubber bands might wear out your Lego gun faster, as the creator of the instructions warns. The model is made up of 1,359 parts, which you'll need to purchase yourself. The tutorial will cost you $27. Exciting developments are underway at Cambridge as students embark on a project to construct a lunar rover. While the project is still in progress, the initial outcomes are undeniably impressive. Their focus lies in enhancing the rover's cross-country capability. Each wheel is mounted on a hydraulic rod, enabling the suspension height to adjust by nearly a meter. This innovation allows the rover to navigate depressions and rocks seamlessly. Furthermore, it features a hydraulically powered sliding frame mechanism allowing for extension in length. Powering the wheels are four electric motors. The true effectiveness of the rover in its intended lunar habitat is yet to be determined. However, its performance on the pristine pavements of Cambridge is nothing short of remarkable. In 1917, the French army introduced the Renault FT light tanks, the first combat vehicles in the world with a rotating turret. These tanks had a unique layout compared to earlier models, with control levers at the front, the engine at the rear, and the crew compartment in the middle. Surprisingly, modern models still follow this same design. Fast forward to 2023, and work has begun on a new Renault FT tank. The creator of this project plans to use the tank in movies and TV shows. They've already welded the armor, fitted the tracks, and installed the engine. However, there is still plenty of finishing work ahead to make it look exactly like the original. Videos of test runs have already been released. Would you fancy a ride in the Renault FT with the sound of artillery in the background? <laughs>